and welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host Kenneth Grunfelder and it's great to have you guys here on this Wednesday, October 30th. We have a lot to talk about on the show today. Before I get into that, I just want to remind you guys, as always, tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the Super Chat button in the chat, and the graphic does work today. Uh, for some reason, there was a bit of an issue yesterday, but it's back. Make sure to go to the Super Chat button to create a Super Chat of any thought or comment you may have throughout the live broadcast. I will acknowledge it, and it just makes the show more lively, more entertaining between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. We appreciate you guys' viewership each and every day, so any contribution you can make to the show means the world to us as we put out content for you guys each and every day. And also, the other way to help out the show is by going to the link at the bottom of the show segment on the ticker, gsmcpodcast.net. That is gsmcpodcast.net. So, let's get into what we are going to discuss for today. So, we're going to start off the show. We're going to talk about the news of the Colts benching Anthony Richardson for Joe Flacco. So, we'll get into the implications on that as the Colts get set for a matchup with the Vikings that got flexed into Sunday night. So, we'll talk about that. Then, in the second part of the show, some wide receiver news. So, there was another trade that went down yesterday. We'll talk about the Panthers trading wide receiver Deontay Johnson to the Baltimore Ravens, and we'll also get into discussing Stephon Diggs being out for the rest of the season. It was made official. He has torn his ACL, so we'll talk about the impact of that. Then, a couple of recaps. We'll get into the Packers and their win over the Jaguars. We'll talk about Jordan Love. He ended up getting hurt again, so we'll talk about the impact of that injury. We'll get into the Commanders-Bears game, the wild ending to that, and then I will do my power rankings. I will give you my top five teams after week eight. And it's tough. It, it, this was a tough uh, This was a tough one because there are a lot of teams that are like so close now. And it's really hard now. Um, uh, next week we'll see what happens. And then, you know, things might be different. But it, it, it was definitely tough this week. It, the number five spot, there were definitely multiple teams you could you could that I could have put there. But um, we'll, we'll get to that at the end of the show. So let's get into the first topic. Let's talk about the news of Anthony Richardson being benched. So, I, I myself and many others, uh, be, truly believed, and it's still possible, that Anthony Richardson is going to be a star. Uh, you looked at last year in the games that he played in. You saw the talent was there, and you even see it this year as well. The flashes are there. The problem is the consistency is not, and. You know, you, you see some of the plays that he makes, like the touchdown pass to Josh Downs. Like, that was incredible, you know. And But you look at his his numbers this year, and they're just not great. They're not great. Um, Trying to get his stats up right now. But looking at it, but let's go over his stats from Sunday. 10 of 32. For 175 yards, one touchdown, one interception. 10 of 32. And you look at some of the other games as well. Against the Dolphins, 10 of 24. 10 of 20 against the Bears. 9 of 19 against the Texans in in week one. He threw three interceptions against the Packers. Got hurt against the Steelers. Flacco came in relief and won that game. But he just, he's not been good. And his touchdown-interception ratio is 4-7. to seven. He's been a huge disappointment. And the other thing, too, is he subbed himself out on Sunday. He said he was tired. And I know Micah Parsons on his podcast said, you know, sometimes you got to lie to the media. You know, you don't want to say that. And I get it. You know, it... Guys are t- guys get tired playing this game, but you can't be saying that if you're the franchise quarterback because it, it's it's a bad look the per- the perception of you is is not you know is going to be looked at differently when you're saying things like that because you're looked at as the guy. Look at the amount of quarterbacks that the Colts have had to go through. Since Andrew Luck retired. You had Jacoby Brissett start because, well, they had no choice. 
because he was the backup when Flacco or Flacco when Luck retired. So you had Jacoby Brissett. Then you go to Phillip Rivers. Then you go to Carson Wentz. Then you go to Matt Ryan. And then last year, you play you know a few games, and then Minshew has to finish out the season, and you go nine and eight. You barely miss the playoffs. And then this year, you know, let's see what you could do. And he's still developing because, again, his rookie season got cut short. So he's still technically a rookie. But the Colts right now are in a position where they want to win football games. And right now, unfortunately for Anthony Richardson, Joe Flacco gives them the better chance to win. Joe Flacco, in the games that he's played in, he I mean, he's looked good. Right now, he's got a seven touchdown to one interception, touchdown to interception ratio of seven to one. In relief against the Steelers, 16 to 26, for 168 yards and two touchdowns. Against the Jaguars, 359 yards passing, 33 of 44. Three touchdowns, no picks. They did unfortunately lose that game. Against the Titans, 189 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. They did win that. And, you know, you see the games that some of these guys have when he plays. He elevates the guys around him. Anthony Richardson's not really doing that. I mean, I guess you could say with Alec Pierce. I mean, Alec Pierce had some has had some big games this season. But... The Colts right now are 4-4. Four and four. They're fighting for a playoff spot. This is a good team. And, you know, they got Jonathan Taylor back this past week, and he looked good. The defense is the one thing that, you know, is a little bit concerning, I would say. But it's a good team. And the way the AFC is, there's no reason this team can't make the playoffs. They definitely can and you look at the schedule coming up, I mean, it is tough, though. Because you got the, the Vikings on Sunday night, and they've dropped their last two games. So they're looking to get back to their winning ways. Then you got the Bills after that at home. And the Bills look the Bills look awesome right now. Another big win in Seattle. Then they play the Jets on Sunday night football. Which, I mean, should be a win, but we'll see. Home against the Lions. At the Patriots, you got the bye week 14. Then your last four games, you're at Denver, which is tough. Broncos got a good defense. But then your last three games, you got the Titans, the the Giants, and the Jaguars. So, kind of looking at this schedule right now, I do see about... I, I could see them winning five five games with their remaining schedule. But, you know, again, you got the Vikings, you got the Bills, the Lions in there, the Broncos defense. You'll be going up against that. If you could maybe take one of those games too, that could get you to about 10 wins. And that could be good enough to make the playoffs. Because with the wild card right now, they're a game out. The Broncos, the Ravens, and the Chargers currently hold the three wild card spots. They got a shot. They got a shot. You know, there's a lot of two and six teams. The Titans are one and six. Dolphins are two and five, losing to the Cardinals. Bengals are three and five. You know, it's right there in front of them. And Flacco, like I said, he gives them the better chance to win games at this at this point. And I want to believe that Anthony Richardson can be the guy because again. He shows flashes, but the consistency is not there. And I go back to the preseason game against the Bengals, I believe. You know, they put together that nice touchdown drive, and then I believe on the next drive he throws a pick six. The consistency is not there, and it's carried into the regular season. You know, like, I mean, against the Bears... You know, they go down the field on one drive, and then he throws a red zone interception. Maybe this will be a good thing for him. Him sitting on the bench, 
let Flacco play. And obviously, I mean, look, Flacco, you know, he dealt with, you know, Lamar Jackson being drafted, and Lamar Jackson eventually took his job. And that was back when Flacco was still a starter. You know, this isn't really new to him. Right now, he's a backup quarterback, but he's playing well as a backup quarterback. And it's because he's in a good system. With the Browns last year, he was in a good system. When he was with the Jets, was not in a good system. The Colts is a good system. They need a quarterback. Flacco is not the franchise quarterback by any means. But they're 4-4 four and four right now. They're trying to win football games, and he could do that for them. Anthony Richardson right now can't do it on a consistent basis. They want to make the playoffs this year. And if they want to do that, Joe Flacco's the better option. I mean, I'm hoping that Anthony Richardson can turn it around and, you know, be more consistent. Because if he can figure it out, he's an exciting player to watch. Because he has all those wow plays that you see. But you got to be able to be more consistent. And... Again, talking about being tired is not a good look because then you're going to have people questioning you and you know, you don't want that. You don't want that, and especially as a young player. So, we'll see how this unfolds, but they got a very tough game with the Vikings on Sunday, especially again just because the Vikings have come off of are coming off of two straight losses. So, that's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think, though. Was this the right move? I mean, I believe it is. But let me know in the comments how you feel about this move by the Colts going to Joe Flacco. Um, we're going to take our first break now of the show. And then when we come back, we'll talk about some wide receiver news. We'll get into the Deontay Johnson trade. And we will also get into the Texans losing Stephon Diggs for the season due to a torn ACL. So with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. 